So in this video, guys, I'll be showing you the Mini, Mini 4 Pro uh, with the RC2. And what we go through the Active Track 360 in the car because I haven't done that one yet. It's a lovely day, and I thought it was a great day to test it out. Um, we've got a challenging sort of track, but the first thing, as always, guys, you've got to get that drone up in the air. Right, I've done it. Now, this year, I set my goal to get 5,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody. I want about the new subscribers, the old subscribers, for the people that's given me support. It's been amazing. So I've got to my 5,000. I'm chuffed with that. Next year's goal, this time next year, I want to get to 10,000 subscribers. So I've got a lot of new content coming up for next year as well. So guys, keep following me. Keep giving me the likes or the dislikes, whatever. If you don't like it, don't watch it. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say a big thank you, guys. Most impressed. Okay, so I turn on the controller. I turn on the drone. It's already locked in for its um, home point. Going to get the drone up in the air. Take off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort it out. Put it up some height. Okay, that's about high enough. Going to send the drone back a bit. Okay. So, hopefully, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a little bit, because it don't need to be too far away. Right, just going to bring that down. I'm going to do the box around the car. Okay. Active track on. Now, when I, as soon as I press go, the 360s are going to come up straight away. So, we're all ready. I'm going to put on the video now. I'm going to get in the car and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm just strapping myself in. Okay. Okay. So I've got cyclist coming up at the moment. I'm going to put the window down a bit. The only thing is I'm using my GoPro today and I haven't got a, a visual screen on it so I don't really know. I think it's, I'm sure it's going to be all right. Um, anyway, I, might, I didn't realise I was so close to the edge then. As you can probably see on the, on the video there. So we're going to go down a steep bit in a moment and what I'm going to do then, I'm going to have to obviously stop the car and I'm going to move the 360 um, to the front of me. Okay, so I've got nobody behind me, I've got control of the road, I'm going to bring that outer one to the front. Now with the 360, it does take, it doesn't do it straight away but it's going to come round to the front. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> now obviously on the, on the Mini 4 Pro, you've got your obstacle avoidance. So if there's any problem, it's just going to stop. But at the moment, um, okay, I know what it is. I think it's my mistake. I haven't put a, a trace on it. Do it just to, I don't want to end up sitting in the road and then find out there's somebody coming. So I'm just going to stop it here again. Right. It's come round to the side. Interesting. Um, okay, still doing it. Okay, I'll go carry on again and we'll just see what happens next. Now I have seen people having problems with this 360, especially in the car, where it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Because what it's done at the moment is come to the side of me, 
but now it does look like it's coming around to the front it's coming around to the front now okay so interesting it didn't happen straight away maybe what it is I've got to I'll, I'll do it again we'll just see if it's uh, a problem it's putting that window up can't temperatures today in Spain uh, are nearly 20 at the moment it's gonna go up to 23 today which is pretty amazing okay so it's come back round still staying in the front yeah it's still in the front which is good right I'm gonna try it again Bonnie's coming to the front now it's me uh me observer dog okay so just over there right so I'm just gonna come around this bend of minute but I don't want to make sure it's going to be bombing up the hill <laughs> as they do okay just gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let the drone maneuver itself okay so at the moment the drones in front of me I'm gonna see if I can bring it around to the right um, and it comes up behind me so I'm stationary I'm just going to move a little bit and we're just going to see how long it takes for it to come round to the back again don't forget this 360 thing it's only it's, you can only do this on the Mini 4 Pro you can't even do this on the most expensive drones uh, I'm sure it's just something that DJI are working on at the moment. Obviously, I think it's, you know, it's, for some reason it's gone around to the left. It's, I think it's reordering itself. Um, it does seem to be taking its time. Maybe when I go on, a, on, a, on another road, maybe it, it'd be all right. Obviously, another thing you've got to keep a check on, guys, is remembering that your home point was way back there and also just keep an eye on the battery power now I've got I think I'm all right at the moment I'm just trying to maneuver myself about got a bit of a bit of a hill here <laughs> as you can see it's it's a bumpy old track but the drone the drone's keeping up with it it hasn't gone around to the back yet which is interesting now this is where I was where I was at so I'm gonna keep going for a bit I've got 54% battery so that that's pretty good see this bit here it's a bit it's not the best of tracks for a car there's a big rock here it's made it it's done it which is good okay so it's gone around to the back of at long last <laughs> okay so it's following the car again what I'm trying to do is get onto uh, a nice bit of tarmac which is just coming up to it now and we're gonna see how it copes with that okay I'm gonna turn turn left here I don't know what I'm indicating for. It's not going to beat anything. Okay. Now I've set that drone quite high because I can see in a moment we've got some trees. Um, yeah, we're coming up to some trees in a moment, which are to the drone's right. And obviously, also, we got some cable. So. I think I should be high enough for all that. The, the other thing is I haven't put on bypass, I've just put on brake. So there is an obstacle, especially um, any moment now, I can see a cable hanging down. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen. There's a cable coming across the road here. I think I should be all right. Should be alright, he says. 
yeah it's gonna pass that cable but there's cable to the left there anyway it's always worth keeping an eye on the drone guys because um like i said i didn't put it on bypass um what i'm gonna do i mean officially if there was an obstacle now the drone will just stop um, So I'm going to pull over in a moment. I thought that did pretty well, really. Right, I'm going to put the foot down a bit and just see how it keeps up. It seems to be doing pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit long. I just wanted to give it a good test. I did the old track. It was up and down. Um, and then I got a nice bit of straight bit of road. Just want to see how... Because I've never done that with the Mini 4 Pro yet. So you're a bit privileged to get that. But one thing I will stress, guys, is obviously when you're finished, and I pulled over here, don't press the return to home because that drone, it's going to return to the home all the way over there. But if you watch any of my other previous videos, I've shown you how you can change the home point on this. And it's pretty simple. You just go into your settings, scroll down uh, and reset your home point. And I just brought the drone round and landed it that way. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll just kick the pole then. <laughs> Lovely day. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Get the thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. As always, <laughs> just enjoy flying your drone. I'm just going to make use of this lovely weather. Mm -hmm.